we're going to go through our two by two passing game now. Um, it's pretty simple, I feel like, um, once you get to understand it. Two by two, if there's two guys to your side, you're going to run the play that's called. And, I, and I'll talk about this here in a second. If there's only one guy to the opposite side, you'll run a breed route, which I'll get into, okay? First thing, we'll talk about the kind of some of the rules. Okay. We can run this out of, let, let's say, stop or no, no motion, and you would have two guys to both sides. So if we called the play, we'll talk about the first one, bench, both sides would run the same route. It'd be mirrored or Indiana. They, both sides would run the same thing, okay? So if I went, just as an example, if I went stop, he'd actually run center, but stop, Indiana, both sides, my outside receiver would run a slant, okay? My inside guys would run a wheel route, okay? It's mirrored. If I were to say swing left, swing left, so this guy's going in motion, Indiana, the two guys are running the route, Indiana. He's swinging, so this guy is all by himself, okay? He no longer can run Indiana because he's the only one over here, okay? He's going to run a read route which typically we tell our guys, you've got a defensive back over here covering you, and we'll, we'll get on this out in the field, but you've got to read that defender and signal into the quarterback what you're running. And our rules, we go zero, fist is a slant. Okay, so if your guy's about five, six yards off, of you, you can get to him real quick and run a slant. <clears throat> Number one is a fly, so if he's playing it real tight, you can get by him and run a fly. Okay, signaling two, two is a hitch. Okay, so you're running real hard at that defensive back and come back to the ball. Now, we've had some other ones where we start with those. You know, sometimes the receiver and quarterback come up with another one or two, whatever. Uh, but that's that's our general rules for how we do it. So if and it could be jet, you know, jet left, Florida, whatever it is, if you're the one-on-one -on -one guy, if there's no other receiver over here with you because now he's gone, you've got to run a read route. Okay, they never run the play. So I'm going to throw a different plays real quick. Okay, we really only need these two guys over here. The first one, Indiana, is just, a, I've already got drawn up here, so I'll go over it. Okay, we would say it's a slant wheel. Our outside guy is the first one, slant. Inside guy is the next one, wheel, slant wheel, Indiana, okay? Our rules for this slant is you want to occupy this space right here as quickly as you can. Okay, so we usually tell them just one step and get right here. Wheel, a jab step, and get to the sideline, okay? It's pretty simple. So I'll mark these off as I go so I don't forget Indiana. Bench. Typically run bench. We'll bring our receivers in in a tight set. So he's now here. Okay, and the rule is on bench, the outside guy runs an out. The inside guy runs a flag. Okay, out is five steps. In 90 degrees to the sideline, this guy is five steps, 45 to the sideline. If we go bench switch, if you ever hear switch, switch just flips the responsibilities um, of the two receivers. So bench switch, bench switch, this guy's running out, and this guy's running my flag. Okay? Again. Five steps and five steps. Everything we do is basically five steps except for the slam. Um, bench is pretty simple, though. Florida. I kind of like Florida when it's tight, too, but we could do it out of, out of a normal look with our receiver split out. Um, Florida, my outside guy, has a hitch fly. And that's why I kind of like it, too, when it's tight, because... Whoever's covering this guy, he may get run off by the guy running the fly. But Florida, it's five steps to come back to the ball. And he's just going straight down the field with the fly. Okay. Auburn. It's a post out. Take five steps. Post. Five steps and an out. Okay. 
pretty simple. Louisville, Louisville's kind of a cross around, so arrows right between the two. So we go, it's just a slant. Again, he's just trying to get here as quick as he can. He's, and he's running, we always call it arrow, but it's like an inverted slant. This way, same thing. Okay, they're just crossing. Should be real quick. Quarterback at the ball in his hands, one way or another. Ideally, this guy, if he can rub off the defender here, if he's close enough to him, rub him off so he's open. You know, that'd be nice. Miami, I think the only time we ran Miami last year, we would do it out of twins. So, like, if I were to say twins left Miami, and he was here, we motioned this guy out, he would run a hitch, okay, and he would run. I'm not sure what we call it necessarily. He would fake like he's running a slant or something like here, then he'd come back to the middle. Okay? So maybe it's like a, we run a V pattern sometimes in our play action. It's like an inverted V. You're coming out here about three or four steps and breaking it back to the inside. And that worked real well for us times. I don't think we ever ran it when he was tight. I think just the spacing of it, I don't, I don't think I like that there as well. But I do like this. Um, so we don't have a ton of two-by-two two stuff. We run all hitches. Which all hitches we do that stop some where we've got you know four guys on the same side and everyone's just running the hitch and the only thing you really need to know about that again it's five steps just like always we're running our hitches out of hitches to a landmark so let's say let's say these are the numbers out here and you know let's say this line represents where the numbers are this is your hash this is your hash and this is your line of numbers out here on this side. Okay, you need to get on your landmarks. So if we're running hitches, all hitches, he's running the hitch to his landmark. He's coming out here running the hitch to his. He's running the hitch to his landmark. Whoop, I messed that up, sorry. Okay, he's running the hitch to his landmark and he's running the hitch to his. That way we're not so tight. Okay, we want to spread out the defense a little bit when we do this, and it should be nice to hitch, but still five steps. But get over here to where the hashes are, and get over here where the numbers are. All right. And then the last one, we got verticals and vertical switch. It's still a landmark. Okay, the landmarks are actually the same. The outside guys, your landmarks are the numbers. My inside guys, here's the hashes. So it's just a vertical. It's just a fly. So this guy's running straight down the field. He's going straight down the field. Right down the field. Okay, again, and we have to hit those landmarks so we have good spacing. Otherwise, one defender can cover two of you down the field. Okay, the switch, vertical switch, we just change landmarks. Okay, so he's going here, and he's now coming here, and vice versa on the other side. So if you're switch, it just means you're switching responsibilities with the other guy. If you're the outside guy, you're switching with him. If you're the inside guy, you're switching with him. That's all it is. So we only have, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight that we run, and none of them are difficult. Okay, and I all went through these kind of quick. You can watch them on the on the Google on the Google form after this to ask questions. I'll put pictures of the combinations and just have you match them up. Okay, so I'll probably put all eight of them on there, and maybe some will be a switch or whatever. But <clears throat> you can refer back to the video and get this. Okay, I'll do a three by one here in a second. Well, maybe. 